So today guys we check out a legendary assault rifle called the juggler, a weapon I've already seen get a little stick for not being that great, well today guys I give you my opinion on it. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed this video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more outriders on a daily basis be sure to subscribe. So the legendary assault rifle the juggler is obviously a random world drop upon Enoch. It is a full auto 40 mag 600 rounds per minute assault rifle. And firstly I think we can all agree this thing just look absolutely incredible. I remember seeing this before the game come out via trailers and I was just obsessed with what it was gonna do, what it was able to do, what this thing would offer when the game came out. Now the question is, it's here. A lot of us have this, you can actually buy this from Tiago for those uh, pod resources. But the question is, do we keep this thing or do we scrap it? Well firstly to me like all legendary assault rifles I have used, it feels good. It's accurate and it from certain ranges does hit like you'd expect. Now my tricks to build is set up for close range combat. I mean there are a few skill tree perks in there that assault rifles uh, will benefit from. Personally, I myself could never get the best at ARs with my setup on my Trickster, but I know many of you and other classes, specifically the Techno and the Pyro, this thing will appeal more to you guys. So its exclusive tier 3 mod is called Scrap Grenade. The first shot after reload becomes an anomaly projectile, dealing some and some damage in a 5 meter radius. Its tier 2 mod is Minefield, which in itself is an okay mod. Nothing too special there though, there's definitely better tier 2 mods you can put on your weapons. But the tier 3 mod here I truly think some people are actually overlooking and I feel if another mod is applied to this assault rifle it could make this weapon even juicier. The mod I'm thinking of, uh, Grand Opening comes to mind which is a mod of the Darkness Charmer which also creates additional damage within that first bullet. I feel this mod is a great fit for this AR. But again, I won't lie, like I said, I don't use many ARs. I'm just going off instinct here from what I've seen. There could be better mods out there, which I'm sure you guys will know of. But other than that, in my honest opinion, for the way I play, I will say the juggler right now is better off scrapped for that tier 3 mod, as applying its scrap grenade mod results in some crazy, crazy things if you add them to those one shot rifles, where basically every shot, this anomaly projectile, which we can see doing great things in that end game, comes into play. The problem is, I feel that anomaly shot is what makes this juggler, and we need it to come into play as often as possible, because it does incredible AoE damage. So it's probably best in reality using a juggler where you just take one shot, reload, and use it like that. It's why for me, I feel this mod would be way more useful elsewhere, like I said specifically on those one shot reload snipers. But yeah guys, the juggler is a great great weapon for sure. I feel for some it could be deadly with a certain build, but for how I play, I prefer the mod to use elsewhere. So unfortunately for me, and on my trickster, I'd scrap this weapon for that tier 3 mod. But hey guys, do you use this weapon to its full advantage? If you do, let me know down below within that comments section. Like I said, I do feel its second mod, Minefield, could be replaced with something else to make it much, much better. But I think the true benefit of this juggler AR is definitely its tier 3 mod. And the more often you can get that thing to come into play, the better. But tell me your thoughts on this weapon down below, people. Is it one you've looked at? Is it one you're thinking about buying from Tiago? Let me know. But on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Outriders on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.